imperative. What is competition, Ms. Knippa? Well, competition is when two species use the same resources, the interaction, and they compete for it. Awesome. So to understand what competition is, it's important to understand the organism's <laughs> niche. Yeah, the niche. It's the role a particular organism plays. So what does it eat? Where does it live? What is its job? That would all be the niche. Awesome. Very cool. So um, also, when we talked about competition, we have two different types of competition, right? Right. So, what are the types? We have interspecific competition, which is the competition between two or more species, but we also have intraspecific. Absolutely. And intraspecific is going to be the competition between individuals of the same species. So, it would be like two giraffes competing for the same little right. patch of grassy savanna area. That looks delicious. Okay, there's all, if there's a limited resource, and most of the time in nature there is, then the species competing might die if they cannot get enough of that resource. So if one species is a better competitor, then it can completely exclude the other species that uses that resource. Pretty much. So let's go ahead and sum this up, Ms. Kanepa. Um, here are some of, the, um, some of the interactions, some of the different relationships that organisms can have with each other that we learn about in our ecology unit. Yes. So um, would you sum this up for us, Ms. Kanepa? Sure. So we're looking at the different interactions between two species. And it, what we look at here is if they gain from that interaction, we gave them a positive. If it hurts the species in the interaction, we gave them a negative symbol. But if it's like down here with conventionalism where there's no good and there's no bad that happens to them, like when we talked about the shark and the regoro, it would be a zero. Just there's neutral. It's nothing that's affecting it. So whenever you look at it, the only one in here that actually both species benefit from that would be mutualism. Very good. So I think it's probably a good idea if we put some examples up here. So for predation, we had listed out earlier the bear. So the bear would go ahead. Yeah, and the bear benefited while the salmon or salmon did not. Very good. And for parasitism, uh, one item that we listed out was the, I do believe it was a vampire bat. And a mammal. Any mammal. Where the vampire bat lives off that mammal and actually ends up hurting it in the long run. Very good. And Ms. Knippa listed out for mutualism, she listed out the clownfish and the sea anemone. Yes. The clownfish gains its protection from the predators while the sea anemone gets cleaned and has a clownfish there for protection as well. All right. So the next um, re relationship to talk about is commensalism. Mm -hmm. right. So for commensalism, we have species A, which is Lermora. They are benefiting from the relationship between itself and the shark. But remember that the shark is not hurt, but it's not helped either. It's just kind of hanging out. So that's just, we call that a zero benefit. And then lastly, we have this little um, competition relationship here where it is actually a negative negative. And this could be where we have um, two zebras competing together. Which one did you say that was? That would have been the intra-competition where they were both competing within the species. Or we could have the inter-specific competition where it would be the zebra and the giraffe competing for the same resource. Right. Now we got to keep in mind that even though predation and parasitism both have a positive and a negative, where one is helped and one is hurt, they're not the same thing. With predation, the bear is hunting the salmon, and what happens to the salmon after he catches it? He dies. He dies. And so the salmon doesn't gain anything, and he's killed in an instant. But the bear is gaining his food. With parasitism, the vampire bat is not necessarily killing the mammal right away. It may kill him, he may not but he's gaining while the mammal is slowly being hurt in that process. Intraspecific competition occurs when several animals of the same species compete for the same resource. These pictures show, show several symbiotic relationships. Predator-prey, commensalism with the shark and the remora, and two parasites in the deer tick and the tapeworm. Here are two, ex two examples of mutualism. We have the honeybee with the flower and the clownfish with the sea anemone. You will need to draw this chart in your notes. Please make sure and add the examples that were given in the video.